So if it's possible to come to child's pose, <laughs> we'll start there. Just take your time, open your knees wide, bring your big toes together, sit back on your heels lower to the forearms or lower to the forehead. And now this is lovely and you can be just like this, or if you want to take a pillow or a yoga block, and before you come down, place it just at your heart center. So just right above the, the chest, beneath the sternum, just beneath the sternum. And then you'll lower down and let that relax there is the forehead. So the idea is that you want the block placed in a way that it's not putting too much pressure on the chest, but you have your forehead down and that support right under the heart. But if that doesn't work, then you don't need to do that because we do want the head relaxed. And just start to breathe. So our focus today is heart opening. And this month we're talking about the quality of trust. And that, you know, that can be a pretty sensitive conversation around the heart. Because, you know, our heart is where we really want to trust. We want to be able to, A, trust our heart and trust from our heart. And when we are disappointed or... Um, you know, heartbroken or betrayed or any of those human experiences, you know, that's where we really feel it. It's easy to physically and energetically close off the heart. And so today we just want to be really sensitive about being with the heart. Because a lot of times too, we have to work with trusting our own heart so we can trust the heart to others and the world. So child's pose is a very protective position for the heart. And if you're able to comfortably have a block or pillow under the chest, it actually can feel really nice because there's like that protection there. And there's that support there that you can soften around. So just give yourself the next couple of breaths to really let your heart know that it is safe. That this is a practice created to bring a balance, sweetness, openness. And sometimes that's just what we need to cultivate trust. Just know we have a safe space to be however we are, to feel whatever we feel. And so maybe sigh out the mouth. The sound ah helps to open the heart. So in this protective position, take a big breath in and then let out an ah. And then slowly come up to all fours and you can keep the block there or the pillow now for that now. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And let's just start to roll through cat cow. So think about moving from your heart, just rounding through cat cow. And so we will have a little bit of the emphasis on the opening of the heart today. So I'm just trying to warm up a little, but not get too hot, it's pretty hot outside. And then we also, like I said, want the heart to feel safe and supported through this sequence because trust and the heart, right, is already a pretty, pretty powerful conversation. And so see if you can breathe and move from your heart. Imagine, so I mean, I mean, the lungs really are right there, right? The heart is between the lungs. So imagine the breath really moving in and out of the heart. Moving from the heart. Now you can just stay with cat cow or we'll push back into a downward dog. Take a couple breaths, walk it out. And even here, this is a heart opener. We're pressing the heart towards the thighs. You can shake out your head, really press through your hands. So the hands are an extension of the heart. So if you're in down dog, spread your fingers, press through your palms. Take another breath. Exhale, lower to all fours. Again, open the knees, toes together. Sit your hips back towards child's pose. You can move that block out of the way. And then we're going to thread the right arm underneath and then stretch the left arm overhead. So push the left hand down, thread the right arm under, and lower the right ear. If you wanted, you could put that block under your ear to make this a little less of a stretch. And then if you want to, the left arm can come up and over. So this is a very gentle twist for the heart. So just take a couple breaths. Inhale, exhale that ah. 
Lift it up, switching sides. Press your hips back, thread the left arm under, and then reach that right arm up and overhead as you lower the left ear. Maybe the left ear is on the block. Would sit your hips back, really open through the chest. Relax your jaw. Big, big inhale. Open mouth with an ah. Slowly unwind back to all fours. Start to flow through that cat cow. So spreading the fingers, pressing through the palms. Elbows are soft, so we're not locking the arms. Moving from the heart with trust, with the breath. And then again, stay with your cat cow or push back into that down dog, pressing the palms, spreading the fingers, lifting the hips. Let your heart move back towards your thighs, soften your knees as you lengthen. Take a big inhale. Exhale out, come back to all fours. So again, knees wide, toes touch, sit your hips back towards child's pose, but this time walk your hands as far to the right as you can. So keep your hips back, walk your hands as far to the right as you can. Take the left hand over the right and then relax the head. So the head might not come to the floor. And again, the block can come there, but we're stretching the left side body. So we're stretching the back of the heart, the back of that left lung. Sit back into the hips as we stretch over to the right. Soften the jaw, relax the face. Deep inhale, exhale that. Ah. Walk back through center, keep your hips pressing back. Walk as far to the left as you can. So walk as far to the left as you can without lifting your hips. And then right hand over left, round that way. So there's a little bit of a cat arch. Almost we can really get that nice opening through the right side body. Inhale. And exhale, unwind, roll back up to all fours. One more time through cat cow. And then maybe back into that down dog, stay with cat cow. Inhale. Exhale, this time lower down and come into puppy dog. So we're on the knees, untuck the toes, stick your bottom up, walk your hands out, draw your shoulders onto your back, place your forehead down or start to rest your chest down. And you can lift the elbows or lower and breathe. Slow, steady breath is right into the heart. Just creating this space that we know is safe and supportive. It's how we begin to trust the rhythm, trust the movement, the stillness. Deep breath in, side out, and then round yourself out onto your forearms. Come into our sphinx. Elbows under shoulders, fingers spread, feet hip width distance, tops of the feet down, pelvis down, and then lift your chest up so that your chin is parallel. Feel free to shake the head. So the fingers are spread, the arms are gently hugging towards each other, even as we keep the space. So really letting the heart lift up, breathe.
Good, big, big breath in. Exhale, lower down, make a little pillow for your hands, place your forehead, just rock your hips a little bit. And then you can come back into Sphinx or we'll come into Cobra. So bring your elbows into your ribs for Cobra, thumbs in line with your chest, spread your fingers, and then grounding through the pelvis and the tops of the feet, lift up. And it can be a low, middle, or high Cobra. But make sure your pelvis is down and your elbows are bent. Really ground through your feet, soft elbows. You should gently be able to shake your head, shift your body. You can always come back to your forearms or lower your Cobra. Really roll the shoulders back, lift your chest. Big breath in. Exhale it out, roll it down, stack your hands, forehead down, rock it out. Now again, you can stay with Sphinx or Cobra, or we're gonna clasp the hands behind the back. So gentle clasp pelvis down and then roll your chest up, stretching your arms up behind the back, or you can reach your arms by your sides or feel free to place your hands down for Cobra or Sphinx. So if the hands are comfortably clasped, you can lift the knuckles up away from the sacrum, roll the shoulders, lift the chest, big breath. Exhale, release, stack your hands, forehead down, rock it out. Big inhale and sigh. Slowly bring your hands under your shoulders, lift yourself up to the knees and you can sit on your heels or sit any way that is comfortable for your knees. Sometimes it just gives us a little more space in the upper body if we're up a little bit and then just roll your shoulders. One way and then the other. And then squeeze your shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, release. Inhale, open the arms wide. Exhale, give yourself a hug. When we do this option a lot, because it's just one of my favorites. So the elbows are stacked, we're holding the shoulders. So kind of that hug, or you can bring the back of your hands or your palms to touch for eagle. One of my favorites, just really gently effective to open up the shoulders, get some compression and then blood flow. Deep breath in. As you exhale, notice which arm is on top <laughs> and then stretch the arms out and switch. Holding the shoulders. So it's totally fine if it's different from one side to the other or bring your hands into eagle, back of the palms or, sorry, back of the hands or the palms. Lift your chest, soften your jaw. And imagine breathing right into the heart, your lungs breathing right into the heart. In the safe space of your practice, building that trust in the heart. Big inhale. Exhale, release. And just give your hands a little shake. Shake out your wrists, shake out your arms, get that blood flow. Big breath. And then come up to sitting, standing, I guess, on the knees, if that's available. So knees are under the hips, tops of the feet down. And then take your hands to your low back and roll your chest up. So this is a mini cobra, elbows and chest, I'm um, sorry, mini camel, very similar to cobra. Elbows and chest lifted. Just feel that opening of the heart. Another big breath. And then sigh it out, roll yourself forward into your child's pose. You could also take down dog if you want one more down dog. And then roll it on up. And let's um, come back up to the knees for a moment. So knees under the hips. This time, reach your arms up. And as you exhale, take the left hand to the left hip, right arm overhead. And then reach up. And then right hand down, left arm over. Just flow through a few times. Now keep your hips forward like it was before. Just getting through the sides. 
Again, opening up both sides. And then we'll hold to the right. Press your hips forward, open your chest. So the right hand can be at the right hip or slide the hand to that right heel and lift up a little more. If that's a lot on your low back, keep the hand to the hip. And then bring it up, left hand to left hip, reach up and over. Again, stay with the hand to the hip or reach back for your heel. Hips forward, chest open. And then inhale, reach it up, big stretch. Exhale, lower down, child's pose. Last time here. Maybe stretch your hands behind you and turn your palms up. And then roll yourself up. We're going to come into a supported heart opener. So I'm going to give you a couple options. If you have a blanket, you want to take it from the rectangle and then fold it in half. So it's this long one. Um, and this is a more gentle version. So you can have just one blanket folded like this or a towel or a couple. If you happen to have a yoga bolster or like a bigger rectangle pillow, you can grab that. So I'm actually gonna have my blanket at the top of my mat and then I'm gonna have the bolster right underneath that. Then you'll turn around. So this is supported fish. You'll start with your bottom on the mat with your low back against the blanket or the bolster or pillows. And then you wanna come up and back so your shoulders and your head are coming down. So it's very important that your head and shoulders are down. So we're getting that stretch right through the heart, right? So right through that upper back. And then you can bend the elbows out to the sides. You can keep the knees bent or extend them along. Or if you have a couple extra pillows and you wanna bring the soles of the feet together. And you can always put a roll under your neck that feels a little more supportive for the neck. But if this feels like too much, you can always go down to a folded blanket or you can turn them the long way and lay back that way as well which is going to be a little bit less of a deep pose, a little bit more supportive of the whole spine. So we are gonna be here for a couple of minutes because it is important to hold the supported postures for a couple minutes. And so I really want you to feel into breathing to your heart. And if you're able to count the breaths, seeing so you can breathe in and out for a count of four. So just making sure the head and the shoulders are relaxed and supported. And then you're getting that big opening. So this is supported fish. And then once you feel situated with the shoulders, the head, really extend the breath. And imagine just breathing in and out of your heart. And so think about the way you communicate with those that you trust in your life, your trusted friends or partners or family members, right? There's a conversation, there's a communication. And so in these next few moments in this supported heart opener, can you converse with your heart in that same way? Even if you're just listening to the breath, flow in and out of your heart and maybe just saying, I trust you to your heart and notice how that feels. Or just even that word trust and breathing it in and out of your heart, how that feels. And again, this is a sensitive, sometimes heavy conversation because trust is fragile and the heart often feels quite fragile. And trusting our heart, trusting our heart to others is one of the biggest, you know, things we can do as humans. And yet when we can really trust our heart and trust our heart with others, it is also the most powerful experience being human. But it does start with that inner relationship, softening, opening, trusting. And so it can start simple. It can just start with 
consciously opening your physical heart and arms and shoulders and breathing into that space and maybe summoning that quality of trust, letting it flow through with each breath in and out or allowing that conversation, letting your heart know that you are listening. You are listening, you trust your heart. There's a lot of really interesting studies around the electromagnetic field of the heart, around the regulation and coherence of the heart and psychology and um, other practices. A lot of times it seems really romanticized, like, oh, follow your heart, trust your heart. But actually, there's some pretty valid science behind that. So for just another minute, breathe, be, trust your heart. Deep, deep breath in. Hold the breath in your heart. Open up a little bit more. Hold the breath in the heart and then side out the mouth. Ah. Bend your knees and very, very gently roll to one side. So if it's comfortable to roll off the bolster, you can do that or off the pillows, or if it's not up too high, you might be fine to stay on, but just let yourself curl in the fetal pose, turning your heart towards the earth, honoring yourself, your body, your breath, your heart for this safe space to practice, to cultivate this quality. When you're ready, let yourself come up to sit. And we'll just kind of release that a little bit. I was finding a comfortable seat. Take your right hand to the right, reach your left arm up and over, stretch. And then bring it up to the other side. And then inhale it up and exhale, twist to the right. Inhale up, twist to the left. Inhale your hands to your thighs. Let's take a couple of those seated cat cows. Just finding that coherence through the breath again, releasing anything that might have come up in the other postures. Come to center, place your hands over your heart and just feel. Feel the heartbeat. And maybe just again, reiterating that trust or the willingness to work towards that trust. Big inhale and sign out. From my heart to yours, thank you for practicing today. Namaste.